Hello and welcome. I'm Erosa Igumbo, and you're watching Energy and You, a weekly news magazine show that brings you developments in the energy space, especially the Nigeria's oil and gas sector, with a focus on Nigeria's national petroleum company, NNPC Limited. On the show today, NNPC Limited embarks on a sensitization workshop across the country to bring all stakeholders up to speed with the provisions of the Petroleum Industry Act. Also, NNPC Health Maintenance Organization and NNPC Trading Limited obtained three international organizations for standardization certifications. Plus, if you missed the spot in ceremony of Ebony A. Well in Nasarawa State, we'll bring you details of that remarkable event and much more. Stay with us. I'm Erosa Igumbo, and this is Energy and You. Thank you for staying with us. You're still watching Energy and You. Well, let's kick off the show with some top stories making the rounds in the energy space. Saudi Arabia and other OPEC Plus oil producers have announced further oil output cuts of around 1.16 million barrels per day in a surprise move that analysts say will cause an immediate rise in prices. This the United States has called inadvisable. Africa's energy transition will cost an estimated $100 billion annually between 2020 and 2040. This is according to the president of the Africa Development Bank, Dr. Akumi Adishino. He stated this during his keynote speech at the Berlin Energy Transition Dialogue. Dr. Adishino maintained that universal access to electricity is possible in Africa if the continent harnesses its massive potentials in renewable energy sources. The UK government is reportedly supporting the installation of floating gas terminals off its coast to increase energy security and avoid another energy crisis like the one experienced last winter. The terminals would allow the UK to import liquefied natural gas from around the world and convert it back into gaseous form to be used in the gas network. The UK's domestic gas supplies have been falling and experts say the use of floating terminals could reduce the country's exposure to gas market shocks. Well, those are your top stories in the energy sector this week. Now, with the passage of the Petroleum Industry Act, a regime of transparency and accountability was strengthened further. In August 2021, a robust legislative framework known as the Petroleum Industry Act came on stream to repeal the NNPC Act of 1977. The aim, among others, was to transform the nation's hydrocarbon resources business space for global competitiveness. As NNPC Limited progresses in its transformation journey, as stipulated by the PIA, it has become important for the company to bring its major stakeholders up to speed on some of the implications of the PIA on its business value chain. That was what NNPC Limited set out to do during its meeting with the National Association of Nigerian Students. To effectively respond to the challenges of the new business environment and meeting public expectations, the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited embarked on a sensitization workshop across the country to enlighten Nigerians on its operations as a private entity by virtue of the Petroleum Industry Act, this time with the National Association of Nigerian Students and Civil Society Organizations. All we are going to ask them because they are here purposely for this issue, so that we will not be having issues of always confronting the NNPC, always confronting them. No, we will know the reason why we have to work with them. We will know the reason why we need them, they need us. We will know the reason why we should maybe be confronting them. They should know the reason why they should be engaging us and a lot of things. So that is the main reason why we are here. So let's listen, jot our question and we will ask them accordingly. When people mention NNPC, they will probably be referring to the NNPC of 40 years ago. But after this sensitization workshop, when you measure NNPC, you'll be thinking about 
NNPC Limited. NNPC Limited is now governed by the Companies and Allied Matters Act. And it is expect, expected to operate like a, like MTN, like Shell, like probably uh, General Motors, like Microsoft. Our books will have to be open. You will have opportunity to scrutinize it. I will have to declare profit. Any business that is not making profit will be asked to fold up by the, co by the corporate, corporate Affairs Commission. So if you declare loss consistently for about three years, the CAC will write to you and say, you have no business being in business. So it is a brand new ball game altogether. He added that the joint NAS Civil Society sensitization workshop was part of the company's efforts to connect with the youths as future leaders of the country. Speaking on behalf of his principal, Vincent Obu, the technical assistant to the Chief Strategy and Sustainability Officer of NNPC Limited, Orishe Meiwa Eyeson, pointed out that the new NNPC is focused on actualizing NNPC's core values of attaining profitability and energy security. Remember that picture that I told you to keep in your mind about the mandates of NNPC, right? In terms of the promise we made to Nigerians, the commitment we made for ourselves, right? It is reflected here because we talked about reliability, right? Reliability basically talks about what? Future proofing. Reliability means you are here today, you are here tomorrow. We talk about energy. That speaks to what? Energy security, right? And we talk about what? Stakeholders, value for all stakeholders, which speaks to what? The economic development that we talk about. And you guys are one of the stakeholders that we are striving. We are striving to what? To meet the promise that we have made to for you people. On his part, the lead business advisor to the NNPC GCEO, Mr. Lawal Musa, allayed fears of the impact of global energy transition on Nigeria's economy, which is largely dependent on hydrocarbon. Primary energy globally will continue to rely on oil. The only thing is that the percentage contribution of oil or gas will continue to taper down. It means Nigeria being a predominant oil, but in fact more of a gas country, and gas is accepted even though within the energy transition discussion, the, the global scene accepts that gas is a future fuel. Gas is a transition fuel. So that means Nigeria sitting on more than 600 TCF of gas is actually more of a gas country than an oil country. So therefore, even if we exit oil out of uh, our continued production without replacement, by 2060, we still have enough gas to take us further. After a successful meeting, the NNPC GCEO was awarded for quality leadership in the nation's oil and gas industry. The sensitization campaign with the National Association of Nigerian Students and Civil Society Organizations was also organized in Lagos State. It's a season of certifications for the Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited as two of its businesses, that's the NNPC Health Maintenance Organization and NNPC Trading Limited have each obtained three international organizations for standardization certifications from the World Body on Standardization. The ISO 9001, ISO 14001 and ISO 45001 standards come as no surprise as the company together with all its businesses are determined to effectively hit the ground running following its commercialization. A huge sense of fulfillment could be felt in the boardroom of the NNPC Health Management Organization. The management, staff and members of the internal audit team had worked so hard for this day. The managing director of the company, Dr. Musa Ribadu, who described the certification as the highest standards in global industry operations, noted that strict adherence to ISO stipulated protocols is the incontestable way to lead in the industry. Dr. Ribadu also assured of the organization's commitment to build capacity and competences of its internal auditors while expressing hopes of the company becoming a consultant to other organizations within the industry someday. 
This is the beginning of the journey, actually. It's not the final destination. We are just starting the ISO journey, and uh, we aim at continuous improvement of our processes. And uh, many studies in the past have shown that uh, there is a direct correlation be between ISO certifications and operational performance. And uh, we believe uh, this, our business, should not be an exception. So we are going to work very hard to satisfy the requirements of our customers. Presenting the certificate to the managing director, ISO consultant, and country manager, DQS Management Systems Nigeria Limited, emphasized the importance of adaptation and change management strategies to organizational processes. So while I thank you and congratulate you for this very difficult job, for the bold step of having done that, the reward for hard work is more work. And I, ought, I want to also congratulate you because very few, if I am very correct, very few organizations in your sector as HMO has this. Um, of course, because you have done this, you are like a trailblazer. We don't have data here, so I may not be able to tell you two, five, seven organization. But of course, I think that your system have every reason to be proud of it. When they go to the customer, they should tell the customer, yes, we can serve you. The customer, why do you think you can? we have systems to serve you? Why do you think you can serve? We have competent people to serve you. Why do you think you can serve? We have processes that can ensure that product and services meet your requirement every time. Meanwhile, the mood was no different at the NNPC Trading Limited, where the crude oil merchants, together with their sister company, NNPC Engineering and technical company, Netco, awaited to receive their ISO certificates. Setting the tone for the day's business, Bami Tale Erinle, Executive Director, Business Services, NNPC Trading Limited, described the achievement as one that will inspire trust in all stakeholders and attract investments. It's been a journey for Ross in NTL. It's a journey that started a while ago, a few months back. And um, it's been interesting, it's been tough. But um, it was made easier by the support of management and the perfect guidance we got for NETCO, our contractors, and also our very committed ISO champions and the staff at large. And it's because of all this that we are here today. In his remarks, Managing Director NNPC Trading, Mr. Lawal Sade, stated that earning the certificates indicate the company's readiness to become a major global player, as well as a statement of it being fit for purpose. We will keep on improving to ensure that we sustain the certification, and at the same time, we are ready uh, to pursue more as, as much as so whatever the certification that are due uh, that is related to our business operations, we are really ready to, to, to work towards that so that at any point in time, uh, we seem to be uh, doing the best uh, among our peers. And so ours is, we want to be number one. Everywhere we go, we want to be champion, we want to be the leader. So, and those kind of certifications really put us mm -hmm. at a very, very good competitive age. For the contractor, the need for sustainability on both the momentum and the process could not be overstated. Representing the Chief Operating Officer of NETCO, Engineer Mohamed Madaki congratulated NNPC Trading for attaining triple certification and assured of continuous monitoring and support. I would like to thank you uh, for choosing us and giving us this opportunity uh, to come work with you and achieve this milestone. And also, I just told uh, Yunus and now that I can see you guys have started implementing that, fixing the you know celebration day on the fasting day. That means you are already cutting costs and trying to <laughs> <laughs> try, trying to be prudent, right? With these certifications, it is abundantly clear that in line with the demands of the Petroleum Industry Act. The NNPC Limited, together with all its businesses, are well prepared to compete locally and internationally. We'll take a quick break, and when we come back, we'll bring you highlights from the sporting ceremony of Ebony A. Well in Nasarawa State. If you missed the event, here's an opportunity to catch up. Stay with us. What do we do at NNPC? 
Since inception as the National Oil Company of Nigeria, our mandate has been to serve the nation by meeting the energy needs of over 200 million people. Over the years, we have invested in tomorrow's leaders and contributed to the development of communities across the nation. We have grown a network of over 500 service stations. We are the driving force behind the constantly growing Nigerian economy. With an efficient distribution network servicing all parts of the country, we ensure the highest quality standards in our crude refining processes. Nigeria boasts of immense oil and gas reserves which we explore in commercial quantities, providing endless opportunities for economic development. As we drilled for oil, we discovered vast amounts of gas, up to 200 trillion scope. By harnessing gas, we have reduced gas flaring and invested in liquefaction plants, shipping gas across the globe. Our energy footprint is remarkable. We supply gas to the domestic market for power generation, reaching all across Nigeria. Powering everything, anywhere, and everywhere. NNPC, energy for today, energy for tomorrow. Oh, energy for tomorrow. So come on, come on, let's go. All thanks for staying with us. If you're just joining us, you're watching Energy and You. A week ago, the federal government went a step further to achieve its mandate of increasing Nigeria's oil reserves with the spotting of Ebony A in Obikiana in Nasrawa State. NNPC Limited is executing this project on behalf of the Nigeria Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission. If you missed it, here are highlights from the historic event. Hello. Flagging off the project virtually in an event organized by the NNPC Limited, President Muhammad Buhari said the exercise is consistent with the commercial discoveries of hydrocarbons in the coal mining area of the Upper Benue Trough geared towards growing the nation's hydrocarbon assets. I congratulate NNPC Limited, the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, and other partners for their immense contribution towards making this day and this event possible. I am also admonishing NNPC Limited and its partners to take due care of the environmental consequences of these oil exploration activities and to mitigate the negative effects. In his presentation, the Minister of State for Petroleum Resources, Chief Timmy Pre Silva, who was represented by the Chief Executive Officer of the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, NUPRC, Engineer Benga Komolafe, said the milestone is a testament of government's commitment to utilizing the resources of today to build the energy of tomorrow. This event also marks another milestone in the decades of hydrocarbon exploration in inland frontier basins and underscores the effort of government in making, in ensuring that requisite investments are made in frontier basin exploration in Nigeria. Speaking during the spotting, the NNPC GCEO Melekiari explained that Ebenyi A well is part of the exploration project that will help in actualizing the nation's aspiration of increasing hydrocarbon reserves from 37 billion to 50 billion barrels in the short to medium term and grow crude oil production to a target of 3 million barrels per day. I wish to reiterate NNPC Limited in conjunction with the Nigeria Offstream Regulatory Commission are committed to conducting exploration activities of the nation's frontier basin that spans the Chad Basin, the Upper and Lower Benue Trough, the Bida Basin, the Sokoto Basin, the Dahomey Basin, the Anambra Platform, the Calabar Embankment, and the Ultra Deep Water Niger Delta, using the best industry standards and technology. May I also mention that means mobilization for the re-entry into the Chad Basin has come in as directed by Mr. President as we progress other activities frontier basin. 
Also speaking during the official takeoff of the drilling exercise, the governor of Nasarawa State, Engineer Abdullahi Sule, and the chairman, Nasarawa State Council of Traditional Rulers, called on NNPC and her partners to demonstrate good citizenship through laudable corporate social responsibility CSR projects that will improve the lives of the host communities. This has proven our country holds more promising mineral assets yet to be discovered, not only along the Benway Trough, but also many other basins. Like I heard the GMD mention, the Bidda Basin, the Anambra Basin, the Sokoto Basin, and of course, the Lake Chad Basin. All these basins hold promising assets for Nigeria. We will do our best to guide and cherish the activities of the NNPC in this community. In turn, this should provide a new leave of life to our people. The joy of the members of the community knew no bounds as they believe the project will engender development in the state and beyond. It's not everybody or every town that you see this type of uh, opportunity, but we are opportunity to have this thing in our town or be in fact, it's something that we should jubilate. I should even shout or jump up. We, the youth, will ensure that there is peace. We provide peace, we provide an enabling environment for the drilling of uh, this project. And we will ensure that everything are in order. With Nasarawa on the way to becoming an oil producing state, coupled with the federal government's eyes on striking oil and gas in the nation's frontier basins, there is hope that Nigerians will begin to enjoy energy sufficiency soonest. Now, at Sarah Week 2023, which took place in the United States of America, energy transition top discussions at various panels. On the sidelines of the event, ratings agency Standard & Poor's Global, organizers of the conference sat with the Chief Strategy and Sustainability Officer of the NNPC Limited, Orisha Meriwa Emisa, to get an insight on developments in NNPC Limited, especially in the dynamic energy sector. In this clip, she is being interviewed by Nick Shama of SMP Global. Well, let's take a look. NNPC is the largest national company in Nigeria and one of the largest producers in Africa. And I think it's fair to say you've had a number of pretty big initiatives over the last few years. Um, and I'd like you to talk you, us through that. I mean, in this current commodity price environment, how do you navigate all these different issues? Yeah, thank you very much. Um, incidentally, NNPC is transitioning at a time where uh, there's a global awareness and global focus to the energy transition uh, equation. Um, it, it's, it's given us that uh, impetus to recraft a strategy uh, to ensure that we address the climate issue as well as um, ensure that we deliver energy security to our country and uh, sub-Saharan Africa at large and also to ensure that um, we are here for the long haul. So in crafting our strategy, we are able to balance, you know, these three dynamics. I think that was, you know, with CEO Kiara, made gas actually quite a central pillar of the mm -hmm. energy transition strategy. And we'll talk about, you know, clean technologies in a bit. But mm -hmm. can you talk through, you know, the FLNG Train 7 and a lot of the domestic gas? What are some of the priorities in the short to medium term? Yeah. So like I said, gas is, is a major resource that we have and uh, we see ourselves capitalizing on this resource to um, better the, the lot of the common man in Nigeria to displace um, higher emitting energy sources and um, to ensure that you know, we are able to even generate some foreign exchange from gas export. So for the LNG projects, of course, we are moving with the Train 7 um, project and we are looking to even go to train eight for export. Right. We're considering a number of FLNG projects as well. These are all on a drawing board and um, in, in not too sh uh, far future, we should be finalizing some FLNG deals. Um, for the domestic gas, 
in the last couple of years, we've really paid a lot of focus and attention to domestic gas you know, development. Mm. Um, one of the things that has held back de gas development in Nigeria is the infrastructure. Right. And we are doing, NNPC solely is doing quite a bit in that space. We are trying to link all the regions, you know, with the gas that we have predominantly in the Delta area to the north, to the east, to the west, and ensure that there's a connectivity, you know, of gas across the region. And even more than that, we are looking at getting gas even to the sub-region as well. We have two major gas projects in the works, the Nigerian Morocco gas pipeline right. and the Trans Sahara gas pipeline. So these are two major gas pipelines that will address the domestic as well as um, export gas. Clearly in your current mandate you've got to execute on energy transition. Uh, I believe technology and partnerships are quite essential. So where do you see some of the short-term and medium-term opportunities for NNPC to deploy those technologies? Yeah, so I, I think for gas in particular, the hydrogen technology is, is one uh, way to go and we are looking, we are scouting for partners to, to help us in this space. Um, renewables as well, because um, if, you, if you, our strategy is built on developing our fossil fuels and right. moving to renewables in the future. So we're also looking for partnerships in, in, in renewables, especially solar and biofuels, because these are the critical areas where we are really focused on in, in terms of renewable. So these are the areas we're looking you know, to, 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 to partner with others and, and to grow as well. NNPC Limited's Orisha Meiwa Emesa interviewed by Nick Shama of SMP Global. Well, that's all on this week's episode of Energy and You. I'm Erusa Igumbo. Join us again next week for another interesting episode. Thank you for watching and goodbye.